Okay, I think we all knew a video was coming this week about this mode. This mode is... Holy crap, it's hard. <laughs> um, what's up everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're talking about Resident Evil 7's Ethan Must Die DLC mode. This... Was amazing. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to say it. It was amazing. Like, it came out of nowhere, no one expected a mode like this. And... It knocked, it knocked my socks off, <laughs> basically. I don't say that phrase ever, but it did. Um, but don't worry, if you haven't played Ethan Must Die or Resident Evil 7, which I really recommend you do, I'll explain what it is, why it's such a big deal, and just why it's so fun yet so goddamn frustrating in this video. So, if you're excited and you do like Ethan Must Die or have never heard of it before, be sure to leave a like down below. Leave a comment, let me know if you've ever beat it, or if you've ever played it, or if you haven't played it. And if you're interested in more Resident Evil content, then by all means, subscribe, turn notifications so you don't miss a video or a single stream. I stream every weekend. But without any further ado, let's jump into it. So, to give you a brief rundown of what Ethan Must Die is, it is a ultra difficult, says the, uh, the description of the mode on the game, or high difficulty mode, where essentially you start outside of the Baker house, the normal house, with a knife, and your goal, simply put, is to get all the way through the house, get to the old house, get to the greenhouse, and beat Marguerite. Easy peasy, right? We've done it a million times before for the campaign, it is not that difficult task. Except it is, <laughs> it is, it is hard, and you're in for a struggle, so you best know what you're doing. Let me give you a little bit of a rundown of how this works. You start with a knife, yes, and throughout the level, you come across chests like this, going from 1 to 4 stars. And inside these chests could be anything. And it is random every single run. Speaking of runs, if you die once, it is game over and you start from the beginning again with nothing. An angel statue will be at the point of your death and you can destroy it to get one thing back from your inventory. But it is completely random. You could have a magnum in your inventory and a shotgun, and a grenade launcher, and it could give you a chem fluid that you had just lying around, because it is one item randomly chosen from your inventory upon reviving. You can see the statue right there, I died in that doorway, to the fat bastard that's just in the way. Another thing about those boxes you see lying around, if you are wearing headphones, it is recommended that you do wear headphones for this mode, purely because if you sneak up to a box and it is ticking, do not knife it, you will die immediately you hit that box when it's ticking and it'll explode and you'll be dead in one hit this game is not forgiving in this mode one hit or two hits from anything and you're basically done it is relentlessly difficult so difficult in fact that i actually fun fact have never beat the game mode before i've got to marguerite about eight times from the hundred on well, the hundreds that's a bit over the top but out of the many, many, many times I've attempted this over the course of the game's release up until now, I've got to Marguerite eight times and have died. And once was very close. I could feel it. I could feel that she was going to die and I fucked it up. And it's painful to have to restart the whole thing. It is painful. I have seen many a run online of people doing it. Blind, not blindfolded, but you know what I mean? Like, just very easily getting through the whole thing. And it blows my mind. I think I'm good at Resident Evil. I would say I'm pretty good. But even this melt kicks my ass. <laughs> and it's like... Wow. By the way, if you do want to see me attempt to beat it, let me know in the comments. Because I would love to sit one day and just stream it all day. And see if we can finally do it. It would be a lot of fun to see. And obviously you can all come by and, you know, take the piss out of me for dying in stupid ass ways. It will be a laugh. But, um... Either Must Die is a blast. And I know, I know people are turned off in some games by hard difficulties and you know I completely understand that like I completely get if someone wants to play through a game on easy mode or on hard mode or just normally I completely understand that everyone has their own unique kind of way of playing a game and that's fine but if you do have the season pass and you do have access to this DLC I really recommend you give it a go at the end of the day this is not a single player campaign it's a completely separate thing and where's the fun in not trying it you know a few more things to keep in mind with the DLC, there's like some tips I guess you could say. There is traps everywhere, use the traps to your advantage if you can. Obviously this part right here, this guy is on the corner, 
like right behind three tripwires to scare his attention, go back through the tripwires and kill him there. This is all about keeping as much ammo in your inventory as possible and dealing with enemies in creative ways. You can obviously risk it all with a knife, although you'll probably die unless you're literally a god at this game and I've seen people beat this mode with a knife. It is very impressive and I don't think I'd ever want to try that. But um, this mode is very resource restrictive, especially considering everything you get is RNG. You could get to this point in the entire run somehow and only have herbs in your inventory or just strong chem fluid or a pistol with four shots. It is rough. It is all, to, For the most part, it is all RNG early on. There is a couple of locations early on where you can get some good stuff if you are lucky. But again, it's all RNG dependent, so it's all very much a case of What's the game going to give me this time? One run I had a magnum, a flamethrower, two shotguns, and no healing. <laughs> so, yes I had ammo, yes I had bullets and guns, but I could still die pretty easily because I was a two hit constantly. And I believe what happened was, I got to the bit after this point in the footage where there's turrets lying around. The turret hit me like three or four times and now I was kind of stuck. Because I was constantly in the last stand mode. Any further boxes I found didn't give me any healing. I think it was all chem fluid. And eventually I just died to some random molded. But um, for me that's part of the fun, you know. Not not dying, obviously not dying. But um, part of the fun for me with this game mode is getting further each time. And just remembering things. Because obviously, yes, the loot is randomised each time. But the enemy spawns and stuff like that are very, very, like, they're set. You know where enemies are going to be coming from. You know what's going to be around the corner when you play it a few times and you get further. So, yes, you want to have the weapons you need for it, but you can prepare for what's coming, which is so helpful for this. I can only imagine the, the absolute chaos if this was random with enemy spawns as well. It would be ridiculous. And who knows? Maybe Resident Evil Village will get the same treatment. Maybe we'll get an Ethan Must Die Part 2, which would be... Honestly, a lot of fun to see again, because people love this mode, and I am one of those people. So seeing a Ethan Must Die Part 2 would be amazing. But, you know, let me know your thoughts on the mode. I mean, obviously, it's not, again, not everyone's taste, but some people love it, some people would despise it, some people think it's a waste of time. Um, I love it. I think it's great. I think it's super fun. Um, there is even some comedic moments in it, like this bit right here. I mean, you go to that door, and then you hear Jack on the other side get gunned down by a turret, and when you open the door, he's just lying there dead. Um, so it is actually quite entertaining to even watch as well. But um, these type of things aren't everyone's cup of tea. And, you know, Resident Evil 7 already has Madhouse difficulty, which is hard. But this is just one up from that. Yes, it's not the whole game. It's only a small portion, if you think about it. But it's still a, a thing of its own. Like, it is a lot of fun. And I, I love it. I can't wait to see if they do another one like this for the Village. They could do. Who knows? I don't really know where it would be. I would imagine you would probably do it in the castle and then you'd probably go through the castle and get all the masks again, randomized spawns in the castle and then fight Dimitrescu as the boss. I would imagine that was what would be how they would do it. But we'll have to see if that happens or not with Village. But uh, I think we're about wrapped up with this now. There's not much to explain apart from it will rip your face off and sew it back on with stitches. If you're not careful. So I'll uh, be very, <laughs> very wary when you enter into this game of that it's not going to be a walk in the park. Even if you do claim to be, you know, brilliant at Resident Evil games, which sometimes I even do. Um, <laughs> it, it will destroy you. It will kill you. You will die. And that's just how it's going to be. Like, that's how the game mode works. You are going to die, especially if you do it blind. Which I really recommend you do, because... Where's the fun in knowing what's coming, you know? But anyway, that's going to do it with this Resident Evil 7 DLC kind of discussion video. Let me know if you are still playing Ethan Must Die at this point. Let me know if you still haven't beat it like me. Again, if you do want to see a stream one day of me trying to beat this, we can sit and play for a few hours and see what happens. You can all give me tips or shit talk me for being really bad at it. Um, but either way, it'll be interesting to see if that's something everyone wants to see. It would be quite funny. Um, the 500 subscriber video is coming out this week. Um, I know I've mentioned it briefly in the video a couple of weeks ago, or maybe a week ago now. But uh, it is coming this week, and it will kind of discuss what we're going to do with the channel, where's it going, some new ideas, some a celebration thing I want to do with all of you um, within the next week or two. And 
just a brief kind of update. It won't be a massive 10 minute discussion video like we always do. Um, it was like a brief kind of like five to six minute kind of idea where I talk about what's going with the channel and some ideas I have floating around and uh, stuff like that. So it'd be interesting to see what you all think of that. And I think I'll leave you on that note. So thank you for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Be sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel and want to see more Resident Evil content. I upload every single day and stream every single weekend. So be sure to subscribe, set notifications so you don't miss a video and you do not miss a stream. And I'll see you all tomorrow.